Hello everyone. Thought I'd like to introduce you to my camper. It's a 2014 Wildwood X Lite 195BH. I bought it in 2014 and we've probably had it out about 8 to 10 campouts. Hopefully it'll do a lot more this year. This is the front. It's got single propane bottle on the front the chains and the hookups and the battery box right here this side it's a little dirty bugs this side has an underbed storage the window it's over the queen size bed it's got a, a window unit that goes on the side of the camper which is handy if it ever goes out you just pop it out and put a new one in and there's gutters to keep the ripping water off the side of your camper from the window unit There's also gutters along the top to keep the rain water off your side of your camper. This window here is over the dinette. Single axle. That there's the 30 amp plug. It's got a 20 <coughs> pretty big cord. This here's the city water connection and the sewer outlets gray and black it's really simple up here on the top is another window that's over the bunk bed the top bunk has its own window it just has a curtain not a blind here's the rear as you can see I bought it at JMAT RV in Poto, Oklahoma came with the spare tire oh, right there it needs to be washed right now I haven't washed it in a couple months this is the store side it's got an awning that rolls out on these metal arms it's really handy and there's the hot water tank the furnace this is the back of the refrigerator it has an electric fridge and this here's a little window of the kitchen here's the entry door it's a radius entry door Camper was made in the USA. Has a single step. The door never has, has worked right since I got it. I've had it worked on at JMAT twice now. It does open easier now, but it still hangs up to the screen. Something's not right with it still. I'm not sure. I did have the four stabilizer jacks installed on it let's take a look inside let me start off here with the problematic door the problem is right in this area here is when you can um, unlatch the screen from it now and shut it works okay this part here has been readjusted this part here has been readjusted this is a whole new handle but when you try attach it back to the door it's it doesn't fit right you have to kind of push it down 
And then when you try to open it with the door from the inside, it'll hang up. I'll show you. Step inside. This is a model with the queen bed right here. Me and my daughter sleep here, or my two girls do. I got a trash can, a broom, overhead cabinets, window. And then you have the dinette here that also turns into a bed for two kids or one adult and one small kid or two little kids. We've had all different arrangements. There's the window unit I was telling you about. It came in the camper from the factory that way. Here's a little bird I put up. It did have a clock that went with it, but it broke. Right here, there's a wall. This right here is the bathroom, the view from my bed. On this side is the kitchen area. There's a two burner stove. Works really good. It's all you need. There's only, only four of us. And one sink. I usually take a dish pan put over here on this side. So you just use that. And it has a microwave. And the cabinet here. Down here there's another storage and a drawer and a uh, furnace. It has a fridge, small fridge. It's just the right size for three or four days. It's got in the door here has these built-in can holders so I really like. It's got a little freezer. It can actually hold quite a bit. We put a lot in it. I have had to fix this already. This thing here already came off. We've already had a little bit of the varnish come off these drawers here and they've actually redone that but it's coming off again I don't understand it but <clears> there's <throat> two big pantries cabinet doors we have towels and dish towels and dishes and that top one's nothing but games and stuff for the kids movies and back over here is the dinettes here and come up there's that can then you swing over and there's the bunks they're just twin bunks they are long but they're a little narrow but they're okay for young teenagers that sleep in them there's down one down here it doesn't have a window but she calls it her little den they all have lights down there's the electric box you can hear that it's on because we got the lights on. I don't know what that spot in the floor is there. It's been there since I got it brand new and it looks worse than it is on camera. Scrubbed it. It's some kind of glue or something. This right here is the gas detector. And that will run your battery down because it stays on all the time if you don't turn your disconnect your battery when it's sitting in your yard or unplugged has a regular thermostat for the heat okay there's a vent right here by the kitchen see out Here's the bathroom. Bathroom has a mirror that I put in and a regular, just regular toilet. And that right there, I bought at an antique store, more like a flea market. It holds toilet paper. My daughter collects cats, so we thought it was 
pretty fitting spare rolls it's cute and then this uh, curtain has a tub and shower which I did take out the factory shower head and put in the oxygenic shower head which works wonderfully just has a simple tub at the bottom I put in that little basket because there's nowhere to put anything in there I actually can just glued it down and this here I got some silicone decided I'm going to put around this because to me I, it's not really it's almost a little gap behind it yeah let's see right down back in out it also has a vent up here at the top and then out the bathroom shut that door and if you stand at the bathroom door you get this view which is back to the queen size bed we do pack a TV in here when we travel unfortunately we don't have a built-in one it's like I need cleaning microwave over here are the panels got the gray black fresh and battery and this here's your water pump and down here is your water heater and there has it does have GFCI outlets there's one here that's the porch light fire extinguisher and there's one over here by the bed and there's also one underneath the table down in there and there's one over here by the bathroom door which is not a very good spot but we do use it because of course we use all of our resources and that's pretty much it oops sorry we do have the carbon monoxide and smoke detectors in here lots of lights Plus what's first of all the window sticks right here it won't stay in the groove it's very hard to move okay you have to slam it like that to get it to shut used to you couldn't even pull this handle and it wouldn't open it does now but don't shut easy and forget opening it through the window latch this thing here it will not open this screen it does not line up anymore these two don't don't agree so I can even get the window over there see it's supposed to be on top see it doesn't want and you can actually the kids have gotten stuck and couldn't get out you should be able to just it pops back open. See? You have to slam it. Which is really annoying at a campground. But not my fault. And that's pretty much it. I do love my camper. I enjoy it. I'm planning on using it. Until the kids are grown up and then maybe getting a different one if I decide to travel which I am thinking of but maybe just hanging on to it I would like to have one that had a gas and electric fridge after being out boondocking in this thing once having no fridge except with a very loud generator was not pleasant well thanks for watching my video See you on the next one.